I mean, physics is everywhere. Linfield University professor Michael Crosser is passionate about physics. And knowing that and understanding it helps you appreciate uh, life around you and the beauty of everything around you. So through the lens of a scientist, we gaze on these 2024 games and the discus. Let's talk wind resistance. We don't normally think about how we're having to push through all the air around us. But in discus, for instance, if you throw it at just the right angle and just the right tilt, the air will actually help lift it, elevate it up even higher and make it go a farther distance. Just the right angles means having the disc is tilted slightly higher than the angle of release, moving air faster on the top side, creating lift. With good technique, launching a discus into a headwind actually increases the throw. There is an added complication though, and physics intern and Linfield track athlete Jacob Slivka can demonstrate. I think it's kind of like a top. When you spin a top, once it slows down, it kind of wobbles and then it falls. Same with the discus. If it stops spinning, it's going to wobble, it's going to turn over. The solution? Spin the discus. This gives it angular momentum, which helps it maintain its tilt. This graph from a 1976 paper published in the Journal of Applied Mechanics shows a difference of 14 meters in throws with spin versus throws without. Angular momentum is key. Just like with a bicycle, if you are rolling, it's easier to keep your balance, but it's almost impossible to stay balanced if you're at a dead stop. And here's where physics comes in again. The discus is a uniform weight, but changing the distribution of that weight enables the spin to continue longer. So it's rim weighted. You gotta have a higher moment of inertia on the outside, so once it starts spinning, it's harder to get it to stop. It's harder to start the spin, so that's where strength and technique come in, but the higher moment of inertia allows the discus to maintain its spin for longer, and thus, fly farther. It's all about the spin. <laughs> so really, a uh, shout out to Professor Crosser. He is a wealth of knowledge and he's infectious. I mean, he is so passionate about this. He, he just rips off all this stuff. We, we barely touch the surface of it. He's got a podcast called Crisscrossing Science. Okay. Uh, so you can check out some of that. And a shout out to uh, Jacob Slifka, the intern. Uh, your piece there. Who, yeah, who was in the piece. He's got this rare opportunity uh, to maybe get published as an undergrad with some of the work that he's doing this summer with Professor Crosser. Thanks, guys.